How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Tower of Fancy video. In this video, we are looking at the fog reconstruction. And with the fog reconstruction, the only area currently available to us right now is the confounding labyrinth. Now this is content that you can do in multiplayer, but it's not the way you think. You can't actually go into this with two or more players. What you need to do is actually enter. And as this is a crew run event, as long as you're within the same crew, you can join as well. Now you do have four different areas and you can actually join up in the same area in order to actually meet other players and do content together. The idea of the area is to go and take out the area's boss. Now, now with each area, there's going to be a separate boss for you to encounter and defeat. These bosses are highly difficult and have a ton of HP. So you will have to challenge them multiple times and you do need to beat them 20 times, I believe, in order to actually get the win. Now, like I said, you don't want to challenge these on your own like I did. I did actually pretty well, in my opinion. But at the same time, you want to get people that are going to group up with you inside there and actually challenge these. Each of these bosses have elemental weaknesses, so it's best to take advantage of those. Now, as you can see in here, the maze contains normal chests and elemental chests that can be opened after defeating the nearby foggy guards. Some sections of the road will be blocked by the fog, which requires defeating the foggy guards nearby to open them. Now, when you do this, the path will open, but they will get a respawn timer, and when they respawn, the path will block up again. Now, as you can see here, complete specified missions in the maze to push your area progress. When certain targets are hit, all wanderers in the area will gain buffs. Now I'll show this more in a minute because each area has its own progress bar and buff bar. And as you complete the number of enemies, and as you can see here, you've got defeat minions in the area, zero out of 100 and open area chests. Now the chests are actually quite important because what happens with the chests is they provide you with temporary buffs and permanent buffs and buffs you can actually provide to your crew by placing them into the warehouse, which I'll show in a bit. Now, depending on where you start in the area, you can actually travel to other parts of the map by using portals. So these are going to open up once you've met certain conditions. Now, once you've 100 percented all four areas, these four elite bosses will be available. Upon defeating these four elite bosses, you will gain access to Foggy Abyss and Eva, which I guess will you know, require the whole crew to be there in order to challenge. It's really cool content. I really like it. And it's something that, you know, has actually surprised me. Now, as you're going along, you've got your fog log, which you can select. And depending on what you've done and what your crew have done, they you will get rewards as you go along, which is really nice. So you can actually gain stuff, you know, without even having done anything Now, each of the chests in this area are protected by a enemy. You defeat the enemy in order to open up the chest and they provide you with really valuable rewards. Once you defeat the enemy, you can actually open it. Now this one, as you can see, provides me with hundred XP, two crystals. Those crystals are really important because you'll be using those to buy your buffs. You also get other possible rewards that have a chance of dropping. Now, as you can see from the maze cache, opening this costs 15 crystals. Now you do have a limited supply of these, how much you can have in order to replenish your 300. It will take roughly about 48 hours, 50 hours. So it, it is a while to replenish. So you do have a couple of days to go in uh, right now. You have 300, so you should probably, if you haven't done it yet, you should go in and support your crew and use as many crystals as you can. The priority here right now is to open as many boxes as you can to power yourself and level yourself up. And as you can see at the bottom, in order to get to level two, you need to open two of these because each one gives you a hundred. So that is pretty simple enough to explain. And as you level up, the stronger you get. Now the chests generally are color coded for the elements. So make sure you're in the area for the element that you are carrying. I ventured here a bit to the right and as you can see it's just frost and vault and i don't really need any of that stuff but if we uh, look to the left we've got physical and flame all over the place we also have the mia and the cubes now mia will provide you with an extra 20 crystals for you to stay inside there are a few of the mias around so make sure you prioritize collecting those if you can along your path that you route out because getting 20 more stamina is always a good thing. It just means you can stay in there, open more chests, defeat more enemies and power up more. The cube itself gives you some XP, but it also gives you a chance for a permanent 
upgrade, which is always nice, whether it's going to be physical, frost, flame. It is a random chance, but it is linked to the area that you're in. So the area I was in was frost and physical. So it gave me either a frost or physical upgrade. You also have the store, and this is where the green crystals come in, where you can actually go and buy some buffs. And as you can see from the vault compound, increases vault damage by 40%. That's insane. So you go one for the physical, and this is compound two. You can actually get up to compound three that I've seen. So that's really nice. Next up, we have this screen here, which is your backpack. Now, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, you've got activate and you've got store at the warehouse. So anything that you don't really need, you can store at the warehouse. So anyone in your crew that actually does need it can pull it out and actually grab it. Now, as you can see, the slots actually open up as you level up. I'm at level five, so we can actually open up. We've got four slots open. But all you want to do is essentially just click on the item that you want to unlock and then you click on activate. You can deactivate the item and it will just go straight back into your bag, your personal warehouse, and it won't be consumed. So that's another nice thing you can do if you find something better that you want to replace with, but think someone else can use that starting out. That is always a good option. You have buffs for damage, resistances, which will come in handy as you're playing along. So as you can see, I've put a bunch of stuff into the warehouse. It's all good. The idea is to get to the boss, the purple icon you see on screen right now. They are really, really, really hard. It's They're not a joke. They can melt you down within seconds. And this is why it's best to go in with a bunch of people attacking these and doing as much damage to them as humanly possible. I assume if everyone attacks at the same time, then we potentially will all be in there at the same time damaging the boss. If not, at least people all around it will be doing damage. As you can see, Mia's at the top there. So it's definitely worth getting as I did uh, earlier. Finally, we come to the actual progress of the area. As you can see, our crew's actually doing really well. We've 100% completed this. We're actually uh, really, really far ahead in this one, but because you know people need to level up their flame builds, so the corner that we're in, I'm in especially, is for flame so you still need to do it to level up your stats so even if you are over uh getting it is the way it is once you've done all four of those areas you'll gain access to the realm of frog where you'll need to, to defeat as we said at the start of the video each of the actual bosses you got seraph rudolph singer and of course the weaver and then you'll get access to eva and that essentially is it hopefully this video has provided you with enough context to actually know what you need to do but essentially just to give you a tldr you come in here power up your weapons for the element that you're on try to get as many mirrors and cubes as you can because they are good for you focus on the element chest that you are defeating enemies open up the pathways but they can regenerate within like two minutes and the idea is to clear the bosses as soon as possible you want to prioritize leveling, using your stamina, and using your boss attempts. Even if you can't find anyone to jump in with you uh, from your crew, or you're just jumping on at a bad time, don't let your boss attempts stack. Even if you do a million damage, it's better than zero. If you're if you're capped at your boss attempts, it means you're actually losing an attempt eventually. So you don't want to do that. But that's it. That is all there is to this. It's a fun event. I really like it. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me on my Discord or through my social media or on Twitter at KalesPremZ and I'll be more than happy to help you out along the way. Right, that's it. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Main Legend.